In the heart of the picturesque town of Evergreen, where the air was crisp with the scent of pine and the ground crunched beneath your feet with a blanket of snow, there stood a place of enchantment known to all as the Christmas Gift Factory. Nestled at the edge of the town, the factory was a whimsical haven where magic and merriment danced hand in hand. At the helm of this festive sanctuary was a jolly old elf named Professor Jingles. With his rosy cheeks and a twinkle in his eye that rivaled the North Star, Professor Jingles was the creative genius behind the most extraordinary Christmas gifts destined for children around the world. But he wasn't a lone elf in his festive endeavor. He had a team of spirited companions, a group of cheerful elves who shared his passion for spreading joy. The factory itself was a sight to behold. Its candy cane columns stretched towards the sky, gumdrop decorations adorned every nook and cranny, and an evergreen roof glistened with twinkling lights that illuminated the factory with a warm and inviting glow. It was a place where creativity knew no bounds and joy flowed like a river. One frosty morning, as the first light of dawn painted the sky in hues of pink and gold, Professor Jingles gathered his team in the heart of the factory. The elves, each with their unique talents and personalities, assembled around him, their faces glowing with the anticipation of another magical Christmas journey. Dear elves, Professor Jingles exclaimed, his voice as warm as a cup of cocoa, this year, we're going to create the most magical Christmas gifts ever. But to do that, we need a touch of each of your unique talents, he turned to Tinsel an elf with a flair for creativity and an insatiable passion for colors. Tinsel, my dear, with your dazzling creativity, you'll be in charge of designing the gift wrappers. We want each gift to be a work of art, a masterpiece that captures the spirit of the season. Let your imagination run wild, and let the colors of joy burst forth. Tinsel, with a mischievous glint in his eye, nodded enthusiastically and immediately set to work. His nimble fingers danced across rolls of paper, sketching and painting the most splendid wrappers the factory had ever seen. The wrappers sparkled with glitter, and each one was a unique canvas of festive joy that would make even the dullest present shine. Next in line was Jolly, an elf with a perpetual smile that seemed to radiate warmth and an infectious laugh that could brighten the gloomiest day. Jolly, my dear friend, Professor Jingles continued, your laughter is a gift in itself, and we want to spread joy with every gift. You shall be in charge of infusing the presence with laughter. Let the sound of your merriment echo in every corner of the factory. Jolly clapped his hands with glee, his belly jiggling like a bowl full of jelly. He began adding a sprinkle of giggles and chuckles to each gift. As he told jokes and shared laughter, he discovered that the presents began to come alive with happiness, promising to bring smiles to the faces of children around the world. Now, Twinkle, Professor Jingles addressed the elf with the sparkling eyes, your radiant spirit can bring a glow to the darkest places. You'll be in charge of adding a touch of magic to our gifts, making them shine with wonder. With your wand made of starlight, let the magic flow through every gift we create. Twinkle, with her eyes twinkling like a thousand stars, twirled around the workshop, sprinkling a pinch of magic dust on each present. The gifts began to shimmer and glow, radiating a warmth that could melt even the iciest hearts. Toys hummed with anticipation, books whispered tales of far-off lands, and candies sparkled like crystallized dreams, as the days turned into weeks, and the factory buzzed with excitement and creativity, the Christmas gift factory transformed into a realm of pure enchantment. The elves worked tirelessly, each contributing their unique skills to craft the most mesmerizing Christmas gifts ever seen. There were toys that danced with the grace of ballerinas. Books that whispered tales that came to life with each turn of the page, 
and candies that tasted like magic, on Christmas Eve, with the moon casting a silvery glow over the snowy landscape, Santa Claus himself arrived at the Christmas gift factory. His eyes twinkled with delight as he inspected the magical gifts that the elves had prepared. Professor Jingles, you and your team have outdone yourselves this year. Santa exclaimed, his hearty laughter echoing through the factory. These gifts are filled with the spirit of Christmas and the magic of the season. Children around the world are in for a treat. With a twinkle in his eye, Santa loaded his sleigh with the extraordinary gifts. The sleigh, adorned with bells that jingled in harmony, soared through the starlit sky. As it flew over cities and villages, the gifts radiated their magic, spreading joy and wonder to every corner of the world. Children around the globe awoke on Christmas morning to find the most remarkable presents under their trees. Toys pirouetted with delight, books whispered tales that came to life, and candies sparkled like stardust. Laughter filled the air as families shared the magic of the season, and the spirit of Christmas touched every heart. In the small town of Evergreen, the legend of the enchanted Christmas gift factory lived on. Each year, as the snowflakes descended and the lights twinkled in the forest, children would gaze at the sky, knowing that somewhere in the world, the magical elves of Evergreen were crafting gifts filled with love, laughter, and wonder. And so, the spirit of Christmas endured, reminding everyone that the true magic of the season lies in the joy we share and the love that binds us together. The Christmas Gift Factory became a symbol of hope and wonder, a place where dreams took flight on the wings of imagination.